What's going on everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, the Blue Collar Nerd. And in this video, we're going to be going over another example of an automation you can build in Zapier. Now, if this is the first Zap that you are building, I recommend starting with this video. I'm gonna put a little card in the corner of the screen here. In that video, I go pretty slow and I break things down a little bit more. In this video, I'm still gonna walk you through the entire process, but I'm just not going to break everything down quite as much as I did in that video. So if this is the first app you're building, I would check out that video first. Otherwise, let's jump in. So I've got a blank zap here. I'm going to go ahead and name this zap because that's something I always forget to do. So my goal with this zap, that the problem that I'm trying to solve is that sometimes a technician goes out to a job and then for whatever reason, we actually need to go back to that job site on another day. And I wanna make sure that situations like that don't fall through the cracks. I need some place where I can go and track which jobs need to be returned to. So I'm gonna name this zap return visit needed. So here's my plan. I, I want there to be some sort of trigger word or phrase that the technician can put in the invoice summary that sends the office an automatic notification that we need to schedule a follow-up visit. So for step one, my trigger step, my app is going to be Service Titan. We're going to be using the get jobs trigger, which at the time of making this video is the only one available. And we are going to select our account. Then I'm going to leave all of this blank and hit continue. I'll hit test trigger and that will pull in some example jobs for me. Then I'm going to hit continue and that's going to bring us to step two. Now step two, I want that to be a filter step. So I'm gonna choose filter by Zapier and I want to only continue if, I'm gonna choose invoice summary, condition text contains, and then here's where I'm going to put my trigger phrase or trigger word. If you're following along, this can be whatever you want. I'm gonna use hashtag return. If you're gonna use some sort of common word like return, you definitely need some sort of symbol in front of it to make sure that we are only triggering this when we intend to trigger it. So then I could instruct all of my technicians, hey, if you need a return visit, just put hash return at the end of your invoice summary and that's gonna notify the office. Now for this example, I'm also going to add a second condition. I'm going to say status text contains completed. The reason I'm doing that is I only want this to trigger on jobs that are moving into the completed status. Honestly, that's kind of a stylistic choice, if you will. When I'm building a Zap, I try to cover as many weird one-off situations as I can theoretically think of. So if you ask me right now, like what situation am I trying to avoid by making sure that the status is completed? Like when is anybody ever gonna put hashtag return in the invoice summary while booking a job? I don't know, probably never, but I just like to make it as rock solid as possible so that things don't catch me off guard. Now, when I test that step, it's gonna say that your Zap would not have continued. That's okay, that's the result I was expecting because in the example job that I'm working with in the example data, the invoice summary does not have hashtag return. The invoice summary is actually blank because the job I'm working with as an example is in the working status. So it actually didn't meet either one of my conditions. Okay, then I'm gonna hit done editing and I'm gonna add my next step. Now I could generate a task in Service Titan, but we've already covered an example where we do that. So for this example, I'm going to make a notification in Slack. Slack is a great company communication platform if you've never heard of it. We use it over at my dad's company and we also use it internally at Service Titan. So I'm gonna search for Slack and I'm gonna pick that. And for my action, I'm going to send a channel message. I'm going to choose my Slack account. Now, if this is the first time you're using Slack in Zapier, then you'll have to connect your account first. And then here we pick the Slack channel that we wanna send the message to. I'm gonna send it to this Zap Tests channel. It's a channel that only I'm in. It's because I'm working with my actual Slack account and I don't wanna confuse anybody. And then I'm going to put in the message text that I want to send. So I'm definitely gonna to wanna to pull data out of the first step, out of the initial job. So I'm gonna pull the technician's name. So technician name has indicated that we need to schedule a return visit to, I'm gonna put customer name, apostrophe S, so customer's location, at, and then I'm gonna put the address. And then I'm gonna say, please react with a thumbs up when this is done. That way I or a manager can go into the Slack channel and see if there's a thumbs up to make sure that these things have been taken care of. I have this option to send as a bot so I can make a Slack bot or I can send it as myself. I'm going to choose to send it as a bot. I get to name the bot whatever I want. I'm gonna call mine, I'll be back. And for the bot icon, I can put in an image URL to use as the bot's picture in Slack. Everything else here I'm gonna leave alone and I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, great, now I'm gonna hit test and continue and then I should see that message show up in my Slack. 
Okay, so now here I am in my Slack. There's my I'll be back bot. And I see that my message is here and it looks how I expected it to. So now I would have somebody once they've actually uh, scheduled this follow up, react with that thumbs up. And then that's how I as a manager would know that that's been done. Now I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna say turn on zap. And now the zap is on and running. Anyways, that's all I got for today. If you have a zap you'd like to see me build, a problem you'd like to see me solve, let me know in the description down below. I'm open to suggestions. Be sure to hit like if you liked this video and found the content valuable. Don't forget to subscribe to Service Titan's YouTube channel if you've not done that already. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.